Let's start our tutorial with a look at the Shortel directory feature. The Shortel has a built-in directory of all users on the system. Starting with the phone first, you will notice that the phone has a directory key. When we press that key, we're shown the directory starting with the letter A, of course. From here, we can use the scroll key to go down the list, and then we can press either the dial key or the intercom key to contact that person. Another way we can find that person is by using the alphanumeric keys to type in either the first name or the last name of the person we're looking for. So if we were to type in Kyle, for example, we would press 595, and every name matching those keys will be displayed. On the communicator, it's even easier since we now have access to the keyboard. So if we wanted to search for Kyle again, all we need to do is type in his name. And there's his extension. If you notice in the directory on the communicator, it includes the entire Shortel directory. But it also includes the contacts imported over from Outlook. It can also include speed dials and any manually added contacts that are in your directory. Just as you are able to double click entries in the history, you can double click users you wish to call from the directory on the communicator as well. Speed dials in the Shortel give you the ability to add a number and give it a label for easy dialing. This feature is linked between both the communicator and the phone for each user. This is a good place to put often dialed numbers that you don't want to include in your regular directory or Outlook contacts. Let's go ahead and add an entry to show how it works. We're first going to open the speed dial window and then we will click to add a new entry. We are now given a window where we can enter in a telephone number and then give it a label. For this tutorial, we will be using our main office number. So I'm going to enter in the number and then label it office. Now if you notice next to our created speed dial, there is a number one next to it. That one translates over to our phone as well. If we were to hold down the one key on the telephone now, it will dial that number without us having to click on it in the communicator or find it in the directory. If you want to see a listing on the phone of your created speed dials, we can press the directory key and you will now have a new speed dial key. If we press that key, we can now see our speed dials that we have created. The first nine speed dials will give the ability to press and hold the keys. Anything after nine will have to be accessed from the speed dial screen using the scroll key. This covers the speed dial feature and ends this tutorial. For more information, please view our other video tutorials or view other user guides at www.sonoranintegrations.com slash docs.html.